city, you see how the towers kind of match? The churches and all that here. And we have Flagler College here. There's Mr. Flagler, he built St. Augustine. He, uh, remember the Breakers Hotel that I worked at too? He, mm -hmm. he built that and owned that too. And uh, he built the church up here. This is, I get goosebumps, it's such a neat town. See, there's the fort right there, Fort Matanza. But that's made out of coquina shells. Remember I was telling you about that? Yep. Yep, there's the fort right there. And here's the two lions, Bridge of Lions. And then this is the oldest. We're heading into the oldest city in North America, St. Augustine. It's the oldest city in America. It has yep. to have lots and lots yep. of history. Yes, it does. And this is the intercoastal right here. Many of these buildings have been here hundreds and hundreds yes, of years. Yes, since the 1800s. What year was the city founded? I believe 1540. We'll Google it. Yeah, we'll Google it. Everyone watching this video is Googling it right now. Exactly. I believe that's what it was. Castillo de San Marcos National Monument. You want to go in there and see you take pictures. Is that cool or what? It's made out of coquina shells, which are the coquina. And, and, and it can withstand a hurricane, it can withstand a tornado, it can withstand anything. The cannons are pointed right at us. Should we be worried? They have cannon shootings twice, twice, or if not three times a day also. But what I'm saying is, should we be oh. running for cover? Is, <laughs> no. it, is it wise to be driving right into them? Oh, sure, just, sure. Just in, we'll just dodge it with my car. Just in you know, case. my car goes 2,000 miles an hour. You know? Great. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Made out of coquina shells. All these stupid cars are in the way, trying to get the flag. Place to park so you can actually get it better. Oh, yeah, of course. You want me to stop right here? Sure. Okay. And I'll stay with the car. walking into? The La Leche League of the Virgin Mary. The, uh, it's the breastfeeding league of the United States of America. This is where it was founded. And this is the shrine for the breastfeeding league. And it was built in 1565 and has uh, been resurrected three times because it was ravaged by tornadoes and hurricanes. If you're watching this video, you can always pause this to keep reading it. I'm gonna keep going. historical little building. Very old. Following the Civil War, the Sisters of St. Joseph came to St. Augustine to teach the liberated slaves 
interred in this holy ground are six members of their congregation. Much admiration and respect for these people. This is known as the most sacred acre in America. For this and everything else that is on this land, there's so much to look at here. What's the name of this sacred sacred acre? It's the Mission Mission Non Nombre de Dios. Mission Nombre de Dios. Yeah. On the site, September 8th, 1856, Pedro Menendez. Okay. The ability is landed with the base of San Luis de Found St. Augustine. What was that? Founding of the first city in North America. Yep. First mass and church services. There's lots of tombs here from hundreds of years ago. Lots of memorials. Denise, tell us the story about the Spanish moss that we see in these here trees. Uh, the Spanish moss tradition story goes back to when the Spaniards, they went off to war and when they never came back, thus their wives cried and they cried so hard that it turned into Spanish moss on the trees. And this is the legend that lives through to St. Augustine this, to this day. So that is a lovely Spanish moss. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey, I found the world's smallest palm tree right here in St. Augustine, Florida. There it is. <laughs> Give you some perspective on its size next to my noggin. <laughs> okay, onward. <laughs> onward.